From the most mysterious real-life sea serpent on Earth to a horrifying fish that speared a diver to death, here are 10 of the most dangerous creatures found underwater. Number 10. The Deadly Sea Snake One of the most dangerous creatures that lives in the water, believe it or not, is actually a snake. Sea snakes are very venomous, with poison potent enough to kill someone if they happen to be bitten. And that's exactly what happened to a man named Harry Evans, who was killed by a sea snake off the coast of Australia just a couple of years ago. Harry was the first trawler fisherman to be killed by a sea snake bite in Australia in over 80 years. It happened while the 23-year-old man from the United Kingdom was working on a prawn trawler. He somehow came in contact with the snake. It bit him, and according to an Australian Maritime Safety Authority spokesperson, the man was already dead by the time a rescue catamaran reached the trawling vessel at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Apparently, sea snakes are a common part of life as trawler fishermen. However, there is a certain way to handle these extremely deadly serpents that keeps most fishermen alive. This incident was a freak accident, and the venom delivered by the snake's fangs ended up causing Harry's painful and miserable death. Number 9. The Great Barracuda The Great Barracuda is one of the deadlier fish that lives in the waters of North America. And while attacks on humans by barracudas may be rare, they can happen and it can be deadly. This is especially true for snorkelers and divers, as barracudas will often attempt to steal fish from spear fishermen or mistake shiny objects for the glint of fish scales causing the barracuda to attack unsuspecting swimmers. Most attacks are fast, involving a single injury brought on because of a quick strike from the barracuda, potentially cutting someone's limbs open. But sometimes, the attack can be more brutal. According to the Florida Museum, there was an incident in the 1960s off the coast of Pompano Beach in which a diver was bitten twice and required at least 31 stitches. Now, a barracuda is obviously not as treacherous as a great white shark, but everybody knows that sharks are the most dangerous fish. Barracudas are a little sneakier than that, and are even dangerous outside of the water. Some people have reported getting incredibly sick after eating barracuda, with some experiencing gastrointestinal problems and weakness in their limbs for weeks at a time. I would stay far away from these fish as a rule of thumb, because they sound like more trouble than they're worth. Number 8. Jumbo Squid Terrorizer Jumbo flying squid recently invaded the waters off the coast of San Diego, spooking scuba divers and scaring beachgoers after swimming up from the depths of the ocean and swarming unsuspecting civilians who just wanted to have a relaxing day at the beach. These carnivorous cephalopods are significantly smaller than giant squid, weighing only about 100 pounds. But that doesn't mean they're not terrifying. Imagine nine slippery tentacles wrapping around your legs while you're trying to enjoy a bit of water polo. Some people even refer to these squids as red devils because their skin is the rust red colour of blood. That would be scary enough to make anyone pee their pants. The jumbo squid is known properly as the Humboldt squid and they have been known to attack human beings. Divers wishing to observe these huge beasts of the deep are usually required to wear underwater chainmail and be safely secured inside of a special metal viewing cage. Otherwise, a person could be torn apart or lashed to death by the animal's strong tentacles. Of course, nobody had this protection when the jumbo squids invaded the beaches of San Diego. Humboldt squid typically hunt in schools of up to 1,200 individuals, and so it was no surprise that so many of them surged up at once. Luckily, nobody was injured, but there were still anecdotal tales of assault and even some less serious maiming. What's the craziest aquatic animal you've ever seen? Which one do you think is the scariest? Let me know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to Epic Wildlife if you haven't already. Number 7. The Blue Spotted Stingray Ever since Steve Irwin was stabbed in the heart by a stingray, these underwater animals have had a pretty bad reputation. And while most stingrays are completely harmless, there is one particular species that is significantly more dangerous than the rest. This is the Blue Spotted Stingray, and when threatened, they can use their tail spine to deliver a gush of venom into an unsuspecting diver. It's not necessarily fatal, but the sting from a blue spotted stingray can definitely be painful enough to cause a person to lose focus, to become displaced, and to possibly drown. Of course, these stingrays can be easily identified by the blue spots all over their bodies. They typically live about 70 feet underwater, and can be found only in temperate and tropical waters. You'll almost never encounter one unless you happen to go diving and place your foot on the wrong spot. If one of these stingrays decides to stab you with its venomous tail, it's possible you'll never make it back to the surface again. 
Number 6. Giant Pyrosomes One of the largest, most mysterious and deadliest marine animals is something known as a giant pyrosome. If you haven't heard of a pyrosome before, nobody would blame you. These creatures are incredibly rare, scientists almost never see them, and despite the fact that they can grow to be hundreds of feet long, they have barely been documented. A pyrosome is basically a hollow, worm-like creature that can grow to be the size of a mammoth. Some have been recorded at lengths that rival the legendary sperm whale. But there's more to a pyrosome than just its size. It is also bioluminescent and will glow when touched by humans. This is exceptionally scary when you consider that a pyrosome basically looks like the extremely long tentacle of the biggest squid in existence. According to a recent report from New Scientist, marine experts are starting to believe that our oceans may be teeming with these giant animals, even if we almost never encounter them. There's almost nothing known about the giant pyrosome, other than the fact that it's not a single organism, but actually multiple colonies of individual creatures that have massed together to create one giant monster. It's not clear why these separate organisms have banded together, and nobody has been murdered by one of these huge glowing things just yet, but they are still wildly dangerous. If a pyrosome wrapped its huge, 100-foot tentacle around you, it could easily strangle you to death. Number 5. An Exploding Whale Sometimes, the most dangerous underwater creatures can cause damage on land. Take the incident from 2004, when a dead sperm whale exploded like a bomb in the middle of a busy Taiwan street and showered the nearby spectators, vehicles and shops in a hurricane of blood and internal whale organs. The whale exploded with such force that it literally showered the entire city street with blood and guts. It was such a huge mess that traffic ended up being stopped for hours. According to NBC News, this went down in the small city of Tainan, while the decomposing remains of the 56-foot-long whale had been en route to a research site. Unfortunately, the whale was a ticking time bomb. The gases created by the internal decay caused the whale to bloat, and then its entrails exploded outwards when the pressure inside was simply too much. Exploding whales can definitely happen, and you better hope you're not in line of fire when she blows. Number 4. The Flower Urchin the flower urchin doesn't even look like a real animal, and yet it is one of the most dangerous creatures underwater. It is in fact the most venomous sea urchin in the world. This urchin is covered in thousands of tiny triangular and circular structures known as pedicellariae. These seemingly harmless structures are actually venomous claws. When the pedicellariae is circular, it's actually an opened claw with a spike like a hypodermic needle in the middle. If you were to step onto a flower urchin, you would be injected by dozens of these horrifying spikes and the venom could be enough to kill you. The immediate symptoms of being stung by a flower urchin include blistering pain, great difficulty breathing, paralysis, and an inability to speak or control bodily functions. But because the flower urchin lives so deep in the water, there have been almost no recorded incidents of people being attacked by one. But nonetheless, these are some of the most venomous things anywhere underwater. Number 3. Mysterious Sea Serpent a mysterious sea serpent was recently witnessed lurking off the coast of Cape Cod, and the creature was so big that if real, it would rival any other sea monster that has ever existed in the history of the planet. It was apparently photographed by a professional shark spotter named Wayne Davis. The serpent looks to be around 300 yards long, or 900 feet. That would make it larger than over 10 sperm whales lined up one after the other. It could very well have been that Mr. Davis spotted a legendary sea creature that has somehow evaded ever being recorded even with our modern technologies. Even after the photograph blew up on the internet and everyone got their two cents in, nobody could deny that the shape really did look like the silhouette of an enormous monster. Nobody has yet come up with a scientific explanation other than it was a shadow, an oil slick, a massive fishing net floating with the current, or the reflection of the tidal shelf. Sure, the shape could have definitely been just a shadow, but it would be an awful big coincidence for a shadow to be underwater in the exact same shape of a mythical sea serpent. To this day, nobody knows exactly what Mr. Davis witnessed or where the enormous monster went. But suffice to say, if real, this is definitely the most dangerous creature underwater or even on the planet. Number 2. Swordfish Swordfish can be deadly. And what's even stranger is that the swordfish sometimes go out of their way to try and stab divers intruding in their territory with their giant sword-like noses. 
A scuba diver recently had a terrifying brush with death when a swordfish charged at him when the diver was walking along the ocean floor in Brazil and speared through his equipment, missing his body only by a couple of inches. The diver was taken completely by surprise as the swordfish swam towards him obviously with the intent to impale. There was even video footage taken that showed the swordfish stuck inside the diver's equipment trying to wriggle itself free. It's not exactly clear what the diver did to the swordfish to make it so angry, but these are clearly not fish that anyone should be messing with. They literally have swords growing out of their faces. Number 1. The Deadly Goliath Grouper Sharks can be pretty scary. They are big, they are thirsty for blood, and they can bite a person in half in one chomp. But there's just something about the Goliath Grouper that makes it even more terrifying, and sometimes more dangerous than any species of shark. Goliath groupers can grow to be over 400 pounds. They have rows of jagged teeth made for slicing flesh. They live as near to the surface as 80 feet deep, and they are quite common off the coast of Florida. According to the Florida Museum of Natural History, Goliath groupers have actually been known to stalk humans and ambush them. Of course, these ambushes don't normally result in death, but there can certainly be injuries, and there can certainly be robberies. In a shocking video recently captured by a spear fisherman off the coast of Jupiter, Florida, a Goliath grouper can be seen charging at the man, ripping his flipper off his foot, then stealing his spear fishing equipment. Either the grouper was sick of being speared to death by floating humans, or he just really didn't like this guy. Whatever the case, the diver is exceptionally lucky that the fish didn't make off with his entire foot and only managed to rip off his flipper. The diver did get his equipment back in the end, and to date there has been no sign of this particularly angry grouper. What's the most horrifying sea creature you've ever seen? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and come back soon!